So in this video, we're going to look at finding the equations of the tangent lines at a point where a cur curve crosses itself. So here we have a curve that's been parameterized, x equals t cubed minus 6t, y equals t squared. And here's a graph uh, of that parameterized curve. I graphed it in GeoGebra on the interval uh, t interval from negative 10 to 10. And we can see right here that it crosses itself, which means that there are actually two tangent lines to the curve at that point. And the question is, how do you find the equation of those tangent lines? <clears throat> um, this particular example, and I think the ones that I put in the homework have been contrived so that they come out on a lattice point. So you can see that the point at which they cross is the point zero six. And so what you would need to do, because you're going to have a derivative, you're going to need to take and find the derivative dy dx, but it's going to be a function of t. You need to know the value of t that goes with this point. So if we have a case where there's a nice lattice point, uh, as in this case, it's you know fairly straightforward. You can look at the lattice point. You see the lattice point. In fact, right here you can see that y has to be equal to 6. So if y is 6, that that means t squared has to be equal to 6 and then you can solve for t. t is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 6. However, if we didn't have a lattice point, things would be more difficult and what we would actually need to do is come up with the value of t that gave you a point that crossed itself. And the idea is when you cross, the x and the y coordinates, of course, are exactly the same. So the process of finding the point uh, if you don't have a lattice point where it's visually obvious it's there isn't a set technique for doing this it's really about being flexible in your thinking and being a critical thinker and thinking outside of the box so for example when I look at y equals t squared <clears throat> what I notice right away if is if I get plus or minus t and plug it in I always get the same y value because of the squaring t squared is equal to the opposite of t squared. So I know I know that I can get y coordinates to be the same just by putting in plus or minus t. And then the question is, is there a uh, plus or minus t that you could plug in for x where x would be uh, equal to itself? In other words, if we have t cubed minus 6t, is there any value the opposite of t such that when you plug the opposite of t in to the parameterized x minus 6 times the opposite of t you get <clears throat> the same x x value and that's uh, and and so i put t in uh, t in on the left side and the opposite of t in on the right hand side and i want to see hey does this ever generate the same uh, the same value. So I would get t cubed minus 6t equals, this would simplify to negative t cubed, and this would become plus uh, 6 times t, and then I could add a t cubed to both sides, which would give me uh, 2t cubed, and then I could uh, subtract 6t from both sides, which would give me minus 12t, this is equal to 0, and then I see that I've got common factors, I can pull those out. Uh, 2t equals, it's going to be t squared minus 6 equal to 0. So t equal to 0 is a solution, but plus or minus 0 isn't going to give me, uh, isn't going to give me two points, so I can toss that one out. And then I would ask the question, hey, t squared minus 6, when does that equal 0? that's going to happen when t squared equals 6. So t has to be plus or minus the square root of 6. And then to find the ordered pair, I would need to put either plus or minus the square root of 6 in for uh, x and y. So we would go y equals the square root of 6 quantity squared equals 6. And there I've got the y, com, uh, <clears throat> the y coordinate for my ordered pair. And then I would do the same thing up here for x. I would say x equals hey, I need, I'm going to cube the square root of 6 minus 6 times the square root of 6. Uh, this is the same as, this right here is the same as 6 root 6, which is equal to 0, and there's the x coordinate. So if you know the point because you're given a lattice point, it's easy. Just uh, pick the 
pick one of x or y and solve for t. And usually one is going to be easier than the other, so you're going to pick the one that's easiest and solve it for t. If you don't have a lattice point, you have to think, think about how to find a t, uh, or values for t, such that they generate the same output, in this case, 0, 6, which is a more complicated, more difficult process. Uh, for one of the problems in your homework, you would need to uh, do completing the square and think flexibly about that. Once you know what t is, now it's just simply a matter of finding the tangent lines at that point. And we know that the tangent lines are going to have the form mx plus b, and b is the slope of the line, and the derivative dy dx is the slope of the line, so now you know you need to calculate dy dx, <coughs> which is just going to be d dt of t squared in the numerator and d dt of t cubed minus 6t in the denominator. So this is going to equal twice t over 3t squared minus 6. And then we've got to find the tangent lines that correspond with each of plus or minus the square root of 6. So that's just a matter of plugging, uh, plugging values into the derivative. So for t equal the square root of 6, dy dx is going to equal 2 times the square root of 6, 2 times t, over 3 times the square root of 6 quantity squared minus 6 is going to equal 2 square root of 6 over, it's going to be uh, uh, square root of 6 squared is 6 times 3 is 18, 18 minus 6 is going to be a 12, and so we wind up with the square root of 6 over 6. And we could simplify <clears throat> this a little bit further. So square root of 6, uh, we could write this as square root of 6. Uh, we could, could actually write this as 6 to the negative 1 half if we wanted to. Um, we had square root of 6 over 6. We uh, could just leave it like this as well, which is perfectly fine and then we would come up with a tangent line that goes with it. So the tangent line would be equal to the square root of six over six is your m times x plus b. We know that b is the y-intercept, but fortunately for us, our lattice point is at the y-intercept, so we would just add on the plus six. And to get the other value, we would put, we would work with t equals the opposite of the square root of 6. We would plug that in and calculate the derivative. So this would equal 2 times the opposite of the square root of 6 over 3 times the opposite of the square root of 6 quantity squared minus 6. And then we just need to simplify. So we get in the, in the uh, numerator 2, negative 2 square root of 6 over the denominator is going to come out to be the same because the squaring is going to kill the negative right here so we're going to we're going to wind up with the 12 again so we get negative root 6 over 12 and at the moment you see that you have this we could actually just indicate that the tangent lines are given by plus or minus the square root of 6 over 6 times x plus the y-intercept of 6 or we could write the, the two tangent line equations separately. It would be up to you.